segment is sponsored by Skinsational Dr. Luciano. Welcome back. And for this week's Dr. Luciano segment, well, we're hitting the road and we're in his office talking about a popular cosmetic surgery. Take a look. So what we're going to do now is show you how the breast sizing is done. What is that? When you want to have a breast implant done, you don't know about sizes. Sizes don't come in cups, A, B, C, D. They come in volumes like 250 implants, 350, 375, 400, and so on. It comes in milliliters. So let me just show you. This is a 215 milliliter implant. This is a real silicone gel implant. This is just for illustration. This is about 375, okay? It's a silicone gel implant. This is all silicone. The inside is silicone gel. If it's not silicone gel, it could be saline, which is a liquid, okay? This is a large one, a larger one, maybe 450, okay? It comes in 450 mLs. And this is something like 550 mLs, so it's a larger implant. And how do you know what to, what to use, you know? They have sizers nowadays that facilitate that. In the past, we used just to put the uh, sample implants in there and see how it looks. Uh, and then you go from size to size. So let me just show you. We have Lynn here with a beautiful figure. And she has a sports bra. So what we do, we have a sports bra and we have different sizes. For instance, this is a 450 ml size. And the shape is just uh, the way these sizes are. They have this shape. So you come in here and you put the implant here and we adjust it a little bit. Then we go on the other side and then we put the sizer here and then the patient will look in the mirror and see how it is. If she likes it, she likes it. Uh, I want a little bit bigger. So we have these little cups here. These are 75. So if you don't want 450, you want 525, you can put 75 here, a little bit bigger. And this is for the other side. You do the same thing. You see? So she can decide what she wants. Of course, this is not 100%, it's a plus or minus 10 or 15%, it's a, it's a ballpark. But that's the best thing available for us to see that. Once I remove the uh, sizers, I'm gonna put it here just to illustrate, and I'm gonna remove the other sizers as well. And let's say you wanna go really big, you say, ah, I wanna go big, so you have these ones, these are 650, that's really big. Yeah. For her, it's too big because the width of the implant doesn't fit her width. So there are many things to consider when doing an implant. You don't want the implant sticking out of your chest and so on. So here we are. 650 would look like this for her. And this will look like this as well. Actually, it looks good. <laughs> but it does look good. <laughs> but in the real process, in the real procedure, it may be a little bit too big. However, there are implants, they, they have 650, but they are narrow and they stick out, they have more projection. And those are called ultra high definition or extra. And these are high profile implants and medium projection or high projection. In other words, there are many things to consider. This is just for you to have an idea. This is how it's done. That's the best way that we know that you can get a more accurate sizing. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you Thank very you, much. Dr. Thank Sala. you. Thank you, Dr. Luciano. And for more information about Dr. Luciano and the services he offers, you can go to skinsationalri.com.